Hi everyone, my name is Glenn. I'm one of the trainers at Xamarin University, and I thought I'd give you a quick lightning lecture on one of the, the new features of Xamarin Forms, which is actually not so much a feature of the library itself, but it's something we're doing with internally. It's something we're doing internally within Xamarin called nightly builds. So in February, we announced our nightly builds of Xamarin Forms, and these are bleeding edge versions of Xamarin Forms that have passed our automated tests, but haven't really been tested further than that. And part of the benefit of using the nightly builds is that you get access to the great new features of Xamarin Forms before they're officially available. And it might be things like additions to the, the picker with the better binding support, or it might be the on idiom support for UWP desktop, or even might be the, the Xamarin Max support as well. So you might want to check out the, the Xamarin Forms roadmap that outlines the, the features here. You can see the link on the screen and it outlines a rough plan and keep in mind it is a plan about what's happening with Xamarin Forms. It's a really great uh, read, so do check it out. But the, the nightly builds are actually really easy to add in. It's not that complex at all. All you really need to do is add another NuGet source. And in this case, we're gonna add our nightly builds location. So I'm getting this one directly from the, the blog report or the blog post on the nightly build. So I'm just gonna copy that link address. See the Xamarin Forms nightly build. I'm gonna move over to Xamarin Studio and go into my preferences. And in preferences, I'm going to scroll down to the NuGet sources. And I can just add a new source here. Paste that link in. I'll call it Xamarin Forms Nightly Builds. And just click on Add Source. And now that's actually one of my NuGet sources I can use. So I'm going to click OK here. And the next thing I'm going to do is actually go ahead and create a Xamarin Forms project. And then I'll start using and the nightly builds instead. So I'll create a new Xamarin Forms project. I'll use C Sharp and I'll call this just nightly builds demo. And I will create this on my desktop. A nice and simple option. I might actually just make sure I'm using XAML there is the, the better way. So we'll go ahead and create the project. It's then going to download the, the NuGet packages. It's going to use the default NuGet location for now, but we'll switch that over in just a second. And you can see it's adding the packages here, one for iOS, one for Android, one for the portable class library too. It shouldn't take too long. We'll just wait for that to occur. And in probably about 15, 20 seconds. Oh, it's done now, great. So we've got our nightly builds demo. And if we want to, if we want to actually move it over to the nightly builds, we just need to go into the, the packages and add the packages. And from the, if, the, the package list, you actually want to select the source. So I'm going to select the, the Xamarin Forms nightly builds this time. And when I select it, you'll see that nothing shows up. And that's because it's all pre-release packages. You have to make sure you show the pre-release packages. And then we can add in the, the Xamarin Forms from the nightly build. You can see there's a, a lot of options there. And I'll just go ahead and click the, the latest nightly build and that will add it in. So we'll just wait a little bit of time for that to add in. And that's done for the portable class library. Let's do the same thing for the others. So I'll add one into the Android project. It's still got the Xamarin Forms nightly build option selected there. It's gonna do the same thing as before, but this time when it's adding the Android uh, NuGet package, it's also adding the assemblies for the, the Android platform itself. So we'll just wait for that to add in. Excellent, and we'll do the same thing for the iOS package as well. It shouldn't take too long. Let's go ahead and add that in. We'll wait a little bit of time. And there we have it. So I might just go ahead and, and run one of the, the nightly demos here. I'll just launch it on the iPhone simulator just to make sure it's working correctly. And it's really just gonna use our default demo where we've just got a label in, embedded within a stack layout, embedded within a content page. So we'll wait for that to pop up. And there we have it, welcome to Xamarin Forms. And that's using the nightly build. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what I thought we might do next is actually go ahead and add the Mac support because that's available in the nightly builds as well. So I'm gonna add a new project. I'm gonna scroll down to the Mac app. I'm gonna select a Cocoa app and hit next. So I'll call this nightly builds demo Mac desktop. 
and let's go ahead and click next. And I'll just go ahead and create the project for now. And that's gonna go ahead and create the, the project for me. So I'll still need to add the, the packages here too. So I'm gonna to add the, the packages for the nightly builds for Xamarin Forms. So I'll add that in. And that'll add in very shortly. It shouldn't take too long. Excellent. And we can, if we have a look at the references and we expand the from packages, you can actually see it's added, added the Xamarin Forms platform.mac OS. Now, for those of you who've been working with Xamarin Forms for a, a while, you'll know that the host projects, like the iOS project, will essentially initiate the Xamarin Forms infrastructure. So there's a basic structure that happens. All of this code is, is normally built via the templates. Uh, we don't have those templates built in, obviously not in the nightly builds. This is a, a very pre-release feature. So we have to go, in, go ahead and add those in directly. So for the, the Mac desktop, I'm actually just going to delete the app delegate class. I've actually made a little bit of a code template. And I'll just expand that out. And that will allow me to, to, to basically set up my Xamarin Forms application. So I'm just gonna make sure I've got the appropriate namespaces in there as well. Adding the, the Xamarin Forms code, adding system in there. That's really about it. Let's make sure we've got the application class being used. And the, the nightly builds demo, I need to make sure I'm referencing that project too. And I think we're good to go. And that should be our Xamarin Mac delegate. Just shrink the code here so we can see it all on one page for the time being. And that's really all we need to do. And actually what you'll notice here, I've got two lines of code. This is actually code taken from one of the control samples from the GitHub repository. Um, so Xamarin Forms is open source. So if you look at the, the source code for Xamarin Forms, you'll actually find a branch dedicated to Mac and they've got some control demos in there as well. So you can specify a screen size for your app or you can specify that it takes the entire screen. The choice is up to you. So I've got that ready. I should be right to go ahead and switch to the Mac desktop and go ahead and launch that application. And if it all works uh, uh, nicely, then I should be able to see a, a Xamarin Forms application, just showing a little bit of a demo with that label right in the center, welcome to Xamarin Forms. Okay, we can see an app launching now. And there we have it, Xamarin Forms <laughs> running on the Mac. A nice little demo, just a really simple use case of, of showing you what the kinds of things that you have accessible to you in the Xamarin Forms nightly builds. So that's a quick look at the nightly builds. Remember, take a look at the roadmap for Xamarin Forms and, and keep in mind that it is the bleeding edge version of Xamarin Forms, not the stable releases. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in Xamarin University classes.